Welcome dear students, in this video we will discuss the muscles of the region of the arm regarding attachments and actions with simple animations to understand the actions of these muscles. As usual, I will start by naming the muscles present in the region of the arm. I have three muscles in the anterior aspect of the arm. Their names are coracobrachialis muscle, biceps brachii muscle with its short head medially and its long head laterally and deep to biceps I will find this muscle which is called brachialis muscle and posteriorly I have the triceps brachii muscle with its long head and lateral head and deep to both heads I will find the medial head of triceps and finally this is the tendon of triceps now let's discuss each muscle regarding origin insertion and the action first muscle is coracobrachialis from its name it's coming from coracoid process of the scapula to be inserted into the brachial bone which is the humerus and this is the details of attachment it takes origin from the tip of coracoid process of the scapula and inserted into the middle of the medial border of the humerus. So, the origin is tip of the coracoid process and the insertion is the middle of the medial border of the humerus. So, the action of this muscle will be on which joint? Yes, good. It will be on the shoulder joint. Because it only crossed the shoulder joint. So it will move the humerus at the shoulder joint. And if we want to apply the rule, it crosses anterior to the shoulder joint. So the main action of coracobrachialis will be flexion of the arm at the shoulder joint like this. Flexion of the arm and the shoulder joint like this with the, the help of pectoralis major muscle and the anterior fibers of deltoid so you can put a very nice rule here any muscle crosses anterior to the shoulder joint it will perform flexion of the arm at this joint okay regarding to the other muscle which is biceps brachii muscle it has long head laterally and short head medially as you see so regarding to the details of origin and insertion if we want to talk about the short head it will take origin with the coracobrachialis from the tip of the coracoid process it will take origin with coracobrachialis from the tip of coracoid process of the scapula this is the short head Regarding to the long head of the biceps, it will take origin from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Above the glenoid cavity. Supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. So I have two heads for biceps. The short head from the tip of coracoid process with coracobrachialis and the long head from the supraglenoid tubercle and they will pass through the floor of the bicepital groove of the humerus to be inserted both tendons or both heads will unite to form what's called biceps tendon to be inserted into the radial tuberosity in the radial tuberosity of the radius and also it has fascial insertion by bicepital aponeurosis in the fascia of the forearm if I wanted to talk about the action of this muscle, it has two heads and it crosses anterior to the elbow joint. So the main action of the biceps is flexion of the elbow joint, like this, flexion of the elbow joint. So the muscle crosses anterior to the elbow joint, so it will make flexion of the elbow joint with the help of other muscles. Okay, let's see what uh, other action can biceps perform. Uh, 
uh, it crosses anterior to the shoulder joint so no problem to perform also flexion of the shoulder joint like this so flexion of the shoulder joint up till now is performed by pectoralis major anterior fibers of deltoid coracobrachialis and biceps brachii as all these muscles cross anterior to the shoulder joint the last muscle in the front of the arm is brachialis muscle brachialis muscle as you see it crosses only anterior to the shoulder joint so the muscles of the front of the arm coracobrachialis crosses anterior to the shoulder joint only brachialis crosses anterior to the elbow joint only biceps brachii acts on both shoulder and the elbow joint and this is very nice for mcq questions regarding the details of brachialis muscle as you see it takes origin from the front of the humerus front of the humerus from the insertion of deltoid and the coracobrachialis downward to the lower end all this area is the origin of brachialis muscle and it will be inserted into the ulnar tuberosity which is the anterior aspect of coronoid process of ulna as you see this muscle crossed only the elbow joint and anterior to this elbow joint so the action will be very simple flexion of the elbow joint flexion of the elbow joint so if you want to put a rule which muscle will perform flexion to the elbow joint it will be any muscle crosses anterior to this elbow joint we talk up till now the biceps brachii and brachialis biceps brachii and brachialis muscle by the way the prime mover of the elbow flexion is brachialis and then the agonist or the helper is biceps brachii now i want to talk about a special action for biceps brachii muscle which is the powerful subination powerful subination if you see the biceps is inserted into the radial tuberosity especially to the posterior aspect of the radial tuberosity so if you are in the elbow flexion position if you are in the elbow flexion position as you see wait 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 if you are in the elbow flexion position like this the tendon of the biceps is inserted into the posterior aspect of the radial tuberosity so if it pulls upwards like this upwards like this it will perform subination for the forearm and this subination is performed only or best performed by biceps when there is resistance against this subination and in the flexed position and in the elbow flexed position as you see i will make it again now we are pronated and the flexed so the biceps will pull upwards to take the radius outward like this and i will let you see it for the last time very nice okay now we will go to the posterior aspect of the arm which is formed by single muscle but with three heads single muscle but with three heads regarding to the origin of this muscle i have long head taking origin from infraglenoid tubercle of the clavicle oh it's very nice to know or very interesting to put in our mind that long head of biceps taking origin from supraglenoid tubercle while long head of triceps taking origin from infraglenoid tubercle the next head will be the lateral head this one taking origin from this oblique ridge above the spiral groove of the humerus from the back of the humerus from an oblique ridge from above the spiral groove of the humerus and lastly the medial head taking origin corresponding to brachialis muscle but from the back of the humerus from the back of the humerus 
the back of the lower half of the humerus. This is the origin of medial head of trichom. The three heads will be collected to perform or to form the uh, uh, triceps tendon, which will be inserted into the upper aspect of the olecranon process of ulna. Olecranon process of ulna. So the rule says here that the triceps muscle crossed the posterior to the elbow joint, so the action will be extension of the elbow joint. So the action will be extension of the elbow joint. As you see, this muscle crossed the posterior to the elbow joint, so it will pull like this, so it will perform extension of the elbow joint. And as we told or talked about biceps, that it has a, a relation with the shoulder joint, I have here the long head of triceps only, the long head of triceps only. It's coming from the scapula. So it has a rule in action on the shoulder joint. Apply the rule. This long head of triceps crosses posterior to the shoulder joint. So it will perform extension of the shoulder joint. It will perform extension of the shoulder joint with the muscles present in the posterior aspect. With latissimus dorsi, teres major, and posterior fibers of deltoid. Long head of triceps alone will perform extension of the shoulder joint. So finally, I can summarize that we have three muscles anteriorly, coracobrachialis and biceps and brachialis. Coracobrachialis acts only on shoulder joint. Biceps acts on both shoulder and elbow joint. Brachialis acts only on elbow joint. And posteriorly, I have triceps, which acts on elbow joint as extensor, but its long head acts on shoulder joint as also extensor. And here we finished the arm region regarding origin insertion and the actions of the muscles. I hope we enjoyed this video and goodbye until we meet again in next videos.